the American dream. It's a beacon of hope, a promise of prosperity and success. It's the idea that anyone, regardless of their background, can achieve financial success in this land of opportunity. And you know what? It's true. With determination and the right strategy, the sky's the limit. The American market is a vast ocean of possibilities, brimming with potential for those willing to dip their toes in. It's a dynamic environment where fortunes can be made. Think of the American market as a giant pie ripe with opportunity. Each slice is a chance to carve out your own success story. Every slice represents a different business, a different industry, a different chance to grow your wealth. From tech startups to established corporations, the opportunities are endless. You don't need to be a millionaire to get started. Even with modest means, you can begin your investment journey. Even small investments, made wisely and consistently, can grow into significant wealth over time. Patience and persistence are key. Remember, investing isn't about getting rich quick. It's a marathon, not a sprint. It's about building long-term wealth, brick by brick, dollar by dollar. Each step forward is progress. It's about taking control of your financial future and securing your piece of the American dream. Your hard work and smart choices will pay off. So, are you ready to take a bite? The first step is always the hardest, but it's worth it. Let's dive in and explore the exciting world of investing in the American market. Together, we can unlock the potential that awaits. Let's start with the basics. What exactly are stocks? Imagine you want to own a piece of a big company like Apple or Amazon. You can't buy the whole company, but you can buy a tiny piece of it. That tiny piece is called a stock. When you buy a stock, you become a shareholder, a part owner of that company. You share in its profits and losses. If the company does well, the value of your stock goes up. If it doesn't, the value goes down. Now here's the exciting part, the potential for returns. Stocks have historically outperformed other investments like bonds or savings accounts. But remember, with higher potential returns come higher risks. One of the greatest investors of all time, Warren Buffett, built his fortune by investing in stocks. He understood that owning a piece of a great company and holding it for the long term could lead to incredible returns. The stock market can be thrilling with its ups and downs, but it's important to stay informed and patient. By keeping an eye on market trends and doing your research, you can make more informed investment decisions. Remember, investing in stocks is a journey, not a sprint. Patience and knowledge are key to success. Now let's talk about diversification. You don't want to put all your eggs in one basket, right? That's where ETFs come in. ETFs, or exchange-traded funds, are like baskets of stocks. Think of an ETF as a pre-packaged investment portfolio. Instead of buying stocks in individual companies, you buy shares of an ETF that tracks a specific market index like the S&P 500. One popular ETF is the Spider S&P 500 ETF Trust, often known as SPY. It tracks the S&P 500 index, which comprises 500 of the largest U.S. companies. By investing in SPY, you're essentially buying a tiny piece of all those companies. ETFs offer instant diversification, spreading your risk across hundreds of companies. They are a great way for beginners to start investing in the stock market without having to research and select individual stocks. Want to invest in real estate but don't want the hassle of being a landlord? REITs are the answer. REITs, or Real Estate Investment Trusts, are companies that own and operate income-producing real estate. Think shopping malls, office buildings, apartments. REITs allow you to invest in these types of properties without actually buying and managing them yourself. They are a great way to add real estate exposure to your portfolio without the headaches of traditional real estate investing. One example of a successful REIT is Simon Property Group. They own and operate a vast portfolio of shopping malls and outlet centers across the U.S. By investing in Simon Property Group, you can participate in the growth of the retail real estate market. REITs typically pay high dividends, making them attractive for income-seeking investors. They offer a way to diversify your portfolio beyond stocks and bonds, potentially enhancing your returns. Section 5. The Mighty Dollar. Understanding its impact on your investments, the US dollar, the greenback. It's not just the currency of America, it's the world's reserve currency. This means that most international transactions are conducted in dollars. But what does this mean for you as an investor? The value of the dollar fluctuates based on various factors, such as interest rates, economic growth, and geopolitical events. When the dollar is strong, it buys more of other currencies. 
This is good for U.S. investors buying foreign goods or traveling abroad. However, a strong dollar can hurt U.S. companies that sell their products overseas, as their goods become more expensive for foreign buyers. On the other hand, a weak dollar makes U.S. exports cheaper and more competitive, potentially boosting the profits of U.S. companies. It's a delicate dance, and understanding the role of the dollar in global finance is crucial for making informed investment decisions. Section 6 Warren Buffett, The Oracle of Omaha, and the Power of Patience Let's talk about Warren Buffett again, one of the most revered figures in the world of investing. He's not just a successful investor, he's a legend, a beacon of wisdom in the financial world. Known as the Oracle of Omaha, Buffett's investment philosophy is simple yet powerful. Buy great companies at fair prices and hold them for the long term. This approach has made him one of the wealthiest individuals on the planet. Buffett's success didn't happen overnight. It was the result of years of hard work and dedication. It took decades of patience, discipline, and a deep understanding of businesses. He meticulously studies financial statements and market trends. He looks for companies with a durable competitive advantage, a strong track record of profitability, and honest and competent management. These are the pillars of his investment strategy. One of his most famous quotes is, be fearful when others are greedy, and be greedy when others are fearful. This encapsulates his contrarian approach to investing. This means going against the herd mentality, buying when everyone else is selling and vice versa. It's about having the courage to stand by your convictions. Buffett's story teaches us that investing is a marathon, not a sprint. It's a long-term game that requires endurance and foresight. It's about finding great companies and letting them compound your wealth over time. The magic of compounding is a powerful force in building wealth. It's about staying the course, even when the market gets bumpy. Remaining calm and patient during market fluctuations is key to long-term success. Section 7. Playing it smart, mitigating risks in the market. Investing in the stock market involves risks. Prices can go down as well as up, but there are ways to manage those risks and protect your hard-earned money. Diversification is key. Don't put all your eggs in one basket, spread your investments across different asset classes like stocks, bonds, and real estate. Consider investing in different sectors and industries to further reduce your risk. Next, do your homework. Don't invest in something you don't understand. Research companies read financial statements and understand the risks involved before investing. Finally, don't be afraid to seek professional advice. A financial advisor can help you create a personalized investment plan based on your risk tolerance, financial goals, and time horizon. They can provide valuable insights and guidance to help you navigate the complexities of the market. Section 8. Peter Lynch. Finding 10 Baggers in Your Backyard. Peter Lynch, another legendary investor, had a knack for finding 10 baggers, stocks that increase in value tenfold. His secret? Investing in what you know. Lynch believed that ordinary investors have an advantage over Wall Street analysts. They can find great investment ideas in their everyday lives simply by paying attention to the products and services they use and love. He famously invested in companies like Dunkin' Donuts and Haynes, businesses he encountered in his daily routine. Lynch's story teaches us that you don't need to be a financial expert to succeed in the stock market. You just need to keep your eyes open and be willing to do a little digging. Section 9. The Importance of Long-Term Vision in Investing Investing is not a get-rich-quick scheme. It's about planting seeds today that will grow into mighty trees tomorrow. It's about having a long-term vision and staying the course even when the market throws you curveballs. Remember, the stock market is like a roller coaster. There will be ups and downs. But over the long term, the market has always trended upwards. Don't panic sell when the market dips. View these dips as opportunities to buy more of your favorite companies at discounted prices. Stay focused on your goals, be patient, and let the magic of compounding work its wonders. Section 10. Taking the First Step. Your Journey to Financial Freedom. The first step is always the hardest, but it's also the most rewarding. By educating yourself about investing, you're taking control of your financial future. Start small, invest consistently, and never stop learning. Remember, knowledge is power, especially in the world of finance. Read books, attend seminars, and seek guidance from experienced investors. Investing in the American market is your ticket to financial freedom. It's your opportunity to build wealth, achieve your dreams, and secure your future. So what are you waiting for? 
the American dream awaits. Take that first step today. Section 11, Disclaimer. Seek professional advice. The information provided in this essay is for general knowledge and educational purposes only, and does not constitute financial advice. Investing involves risk, and you could lose some or all of your investment. Before making any investment decisions, it's crucial to conduct your own thorough research or consult with a qualified financial advisor to determine if an investment is suitable for your individual circumstances and risk tolerance.